right. It's a beautiful afternoon here in Billings, Montana. My name's Alex. I'm just out here doing a little rock hunting with my dog, Kip. Hey, Kip. Yes. And um, we're out on some private, well, I shouldn't say private, on some uh, public access land um, here in Billings. It's kind of a little bit out of the way, so I'm hoping to uh, find some agates and petrified wood and such. Um, and I just found our first find of the day. Right here. If you can see that. It's our first agate. Nice little banded guy. Alright. And here's a nice little piece of petrified wood. Not too big, but kind of gives you an idea of what we find out here. Um, this would make a nice little tumbler piece. Uh, oh, there's something. It's another really nice sort of banded piece. Bands aren't as obvious in this one, but you can still see them. Go down here and get it wet. I just found kind of a, I'm not even sure exactly what this is. But, uh, yeah, I wonder if it's kind of some kind of jasper mixed with agate. Um, it's really intricate in there, and there's even little bits of red. Um, like I said, not exactly sure what it is, but uh, really pretty. Something that could be worth taking home. So, uh, just kind of keep looking here and see what else we can find. It's a little bit like petrified wood right here. You can kind of already see the kind of the wood shape to it. Yeah, definitely a nice, and this is a much bigger piece of petrified wood. You can see when it gets wet though, the wood really starts to come out. You know, I'm not sure what to do with stuff like this, but it's just so pretty. Um, definitely take that home. I think we kind of wore out that last spot. So, um, I think we're gonna walk downstream a little bit that way and see if we can't find another big gravel bed before we uh, call it a day. All right, found a nice another little beach here. Uh, look for a little while longer before we lose our sunlight. And I'll keep you guys posted to see if we find anything else. All right, found a... Uh, Another kind of globby, knobby guy. Just really pretty though. I, I don't know exactly what this stuff is, but uh, definitely just curious to take some home and do a little bit of research, but really, really pretty stuff. <laughs> it's kind of a cool find. Uh, I've actually never really seen anything like this out here, to be honest with you. Uh, it kind of feels like quartzy, but it's just really unique. Uh, the yellow and the red there. I don't even have the slightest idea what to do with it or what to call it, but Kip sure seems to like it, so we'll probably take it home. Lots of stuff on this gravel bar. So, try to watch my shadow there. Found this guy. Um, you know, it may not look like much. This is kind of one of those things that maybe is an agate, maybe it isn't, but the best way to tell is to get it wet. So we'll just walk on down to the water here. Take a look. All right. <clears throat> Try to get it kind of cleaned off. So, uh, you know, in this case, it's hard to say 
for sure whether it is or isn't it. I see little bits in there. It's got a little bit on the end there. Makes me think it might be some agate going on in there. So we'll probably take it home and cut it open. Getting impossible to film without cutting these things in the shadow, so I'm just gonna do it anyways. This looks like it could be a really nice agate. And it definitely is. See all those little indentations in there? Get it out in the sun. Let's get it wet and see what it looks like. Yeah, that, wow. That's really pretty. I don't even know what those little markings are. But I've seen it maybe once or two other, twice other t times, but uh, just really, really pretty and nice size too. All right, just found another little agony bit here as a YouTuber that I am a fond of, likes to say. Um, kind of a yellowy color to it. And right there is a nice, kind of just a Yellowstone Jasper. Um, and I thought I maybe saw some petrified wood, but I think I got distracted when I saw the agate. Um, let's take a look at it wet though. Really pretty. Nothing too special there. No, well, maybe some banding on the inside, but it's kind of cracked up too. So, all right. Looks like there's maybe just another little big uh, stretch of rocks downstream. But here's some nice beaver activity for you. <laughs> this whole place actually looks like it's kind of getting eaten up by beavers. All right, we'll see what it looks like. Well, I guess I lied when I said little or big little. But you forgive me, I'm kind of new to the whole YouTube thing. Uh, big stretch of rocks out here. We're not gonna even get to cover much of this at all. I'm uh, just gonna look for a little few minutes and then uh, we'll call it a day. Still here off to the side. I found this. It's really interesting. I don't know what it is. It is beautiful. All right, well, we're kind of out of time. Got to run home. There's a bald eagle in the distance there, flying over the river. Uh, we're gonna head back to the car, but we'll get home and clean up the rocks and kind of give you an idea of what we found. See you in a little bit. <laughs>